and welcome to Conversations with Conscious Enterprises. I'm Roxana, and our conversation today is with the founder of The Collective. Alan Polinski is the epitome of a work in progress in the best sense of that description. He's constantly working to improve himself personally, and that translates directly into how he runs his business today in a constant state of service to his customers. Well known as the co-founder of Juice Press, a national juice bar chain, Alan is now the owner of The Collective, a wellness space located in the Bowery of New York City. It offers all kinds of biohacking, healing, and well-being improving products and services. In this conversation, you'll get to know how Alan got involved in juicing and wellness after a career in hedge funds, how Alan sustains an unorthodox company culture, the reality of investments and money, and so much more. Please enjoy this conversation and please follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn, and please share on social media. And you can always find us at www.conscious.enterprises. All right, so Alan Polinski, thank you so much for being a part of Conscious Enterprises. It's such an honor to be here in your lovely, what do we call this, like wellness okay. center call it space? My, my home. Your home, where you work, eat, sleep, <laughs> and everything. Um, so you are the co-founder of Juice Press, which is a major um, juice chain here in Manhattan and probably other, way, other places as well. And you're also the owner of The Collective, where we are right now. Um, let's start by talking about um, a little bit about Juice Press and how you got involved in like the whole juicing, um, juicing trend and what brought you there. I don't know if it was like a juicing trend. Uh, I just didn't want to wash dishes. Okay. <laughs> so we decided to build a store. Uh, and yeah, by building the store, we avoided uh, making our own juice. And, not having to have the headache of washing. We really didn't start from the idea of you know creating a large business. Right. We start from the idea of a need. Interesting. So you just want a juice for yourself, really? Well, okay. more food and juice. Not only juice, right. but more of the food. So there's a place in Miami called Glazer Farms. Okay. And they've been doing this for like 40 years in a farmer's market in Coconut Grove. Okay. And so, you know, they kind of have been around a long time. And kind of the raw food slash health scene. Okay, so, cool. Yeah. Awesome. And since then, um, you started the collective, which is where we are now, um, which has a lot of stuff going it's sort on. Sort of, yeah. In flux. Yeah. Of uh, it has been a lot of things. Yeah. So yeah. tell me about what it is. What do you guys do here? Um, no, I mean the original idea was to create a space. So the idea came from a need again. Right. Right. Not not like a need for a certain concept. Okay. Which was to take food. Okay. Retail and services and wrap that into one environment that would support some sort of community aspect. Whether right. it be an event, whether it be, you know, to be able to host or present, you know, products and services as well, other yes. than only just driving a certain business. Right. So the idea was to design something that was natural uh, and that was the priority more so than, you know, actually what it is. And what it turned into, you know, again, the consumer decides what it likes. Yes. You offer the consumer a service or product but they ultimately dictate what you're going to sell and what you're going to provide, mm -hmm. right? So yes, the, the idea of a space and or the environment is what I created or yes. replicated since this has been done, you know, many different ways. But what ended up being here was more, you know, through trial and error. And what year did this open? 2015. 2015. And how have you seen it evolve? Like, what, what was well, it when first started? Well, change, change of partnerships and change of people involved and there's been a whole yeah. you know in and out trial and error type yes. you know and you still have the juice bar upstairs I noticed so don't call it juice bar what is it what are we calling uh, it I just call it a cafe a cafe I okay, mean that that's all, it's work. not you know we're not juicing anything yeah actually. that's true you <laughs> actually have a lot of like foods and little like more and more and food and tonics yeah. and, you know we'll, we'll end up making a few juices okay but overall it's you know it's just it, it's just a cafe cafe yeah, yeah. And I actually buy a bunch of my herbs, actually, my herbal supplements from the, um, from the store yeah. upstairs as well. So that's pretty cool. Yes, yeah, so the Alchemist Kitchen. So there's a bunch of brands that kind of started here. Mm -hmm. So I built the platform. Okay. And then they were still trying to figure out how to get oh. into like into business, you know, yeah. on a retail side. So you gave them a place to distribute these. So Alchemist Kitchen, we ended up partnering um, in 
and they're doing creating some kind of deal structure. Okay. Right. We're there in the space, and I grounded them. Higher dose started out of the space. Okay. Uh, New Trip has a first retail location. Great. And explain uh, Higher Dose. Uh, Higher Dose is a company that provides a, a experience for infrared saunas. Infrared saunas, right? Yeah. I love a big fan of those. Okay, cool. And then I run the other uh, wellness uh, services in the space, mm-hmm. and oh, we have companies that you know kind of are testing their or piling their uh, concept. Right. As well, obviously, right. Tune. Yes, our mutual fun pile with Correct. Tune. Yeah, that's great, too. Awesome. Okay, and um, how many employees do you have working for you now, contract or otherwise? You know, I don't, I don't even know. You don't even know? I don't even <laughs> you know. You have to guess. Uh, 20. 20, 20 that's a lot, yeah. yeah. And do you feel like you have instilled, like, a certain type of vibe? Usually the leader kind of has No, not yet. No? no? no I'm trying. You're trying? I'm trying to figure out how to do that. And what it's are you... It's complicated. Yeah. I mean, there is a vibe, you know. Right. When they see me, they have a reaction. But, um... <laughs> It's a, it's a very hard question. It's what do you think question. their reaction is right now? Um, I, I think people are not used to my approach. Okay. So they're still trying to figure, it takes time to, you know, to figure out what that approach is and how that works. So they're still okay. getting their, they're still getting used to, you know. Who you are. What. And what is that? Uh, very unorthodox. Okay. You know, like people are saying like, hey, don't put all your eggs in one basket. I'm the opposite. You put all your eggs in one basket. Okay. Like the focus is like, you know. What's the priority? Yeah. The priority is servicing the customer. Right. Everything else stops. Um, so, so does the customer feel good or doesn't feel good is a very right. important part. How do they feel when they walk in the door? Are they acknowledged? Yes. I keep telling them I want the bad Yelp review where I want a Yelp review saying, the store that asks us, do I need help? So many times I don't want to go back. <laughs> like that's the Yelp review I want. I right. want the review that's... They're just they're so, so nice. annoying. No. Yeah. They're so annoying <laughs> because they keep on asking me, can I help you? Right. Are you okay? I think you're doing that. I got asked a couple of times on my way in. I mean, like, and it's yeah. okay. Like, and, and I'd rather say I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah. Then no one talks to you. Because what the energy creates that yeah. when no one talks to you yeah. is much worse than when they're too inviting. That's true. And when you have a lot of employees in a place, you don't know if that person's being serviced. Yes. You know, or they forget or, you know, you know so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of persistent on asking people yeah. to really focus in on that. Cool. Yeah. So what would you say your inspiration was for opening the collective initially? Are you kidding? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. I mean, like usual, very basic thing. Yeah. I don't have a place to go to that provides all these services. So you just It's all selfish. Everything. It's all selfish. Yeah. Yeah. Juice Bros is selfish mm-hmm. and this is, it's, it's really selfish. Yeah. It's a place that I would enjoy being. So yeah. I look at what I would like and right. what I would want to be around. Right. And then based on what would make it economically viable yeah. that I would actually do. Right. I mean, originally I wanted a bathhouse down here. Yeah. I wanted a private bathhouse with like cold tubs and different songs and scene oh, rooms wow. and services. Yeah. And we couldn't cut the floor, delays in the building, the landlord, all those those issues right. forced me to reconfigure the space. Oh. And I made it more of like a salon with treatment rooms and like a yoga studio so I can do more like event type things. Right. But I was going for more of a bathhouse that has all the services, private slash, you yeah. know, functioning community space. Yeah. It's funny how when you, like, serve your own, like, inner, you know, purpose for what you want, how watching it, I guess, serve so many other people has got to be super fulfilling, right? Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't, I, I mean, really, like, in terms yeah. of what I do, yeah. people do whatever they want, Yeah. right? So when you, business is, to me is not conscious. Right. Well, so you're in, like, the, like, there's, the exchange of something, you know, doesn't make sense because yeah. why does someone make more money than someone else for a service they render, which may not be, in my opinion, valuable. Interesting. Uh-huh. Right? I have, I have ideas of what's valuable. Right. right? Do we need 100 banks? Do we need 1,000 lawyers? Right. If people kept their word, we would need lawyers. Right? So that whole idea to me uh, becomes that, you know, is it fulfilling? I don't, I don't know what everyone's thinking. Yeah. I can see what they're feeling, but what they really think, you have to ask them. So as long as they come in here and I find that, that I'm, I believe that what I'm providing them is, you know, a tiny bit more conscious or ethical than, let's say, you know, uh, a place that sir, you know, sells tobacco or a cigar bar, right. which is fine. They can make the choice and everyone has their ability to choose what they want to do. I feel a little better about what I'm about what I'm doing. You're giving them an option for another pastime. That's right. That's right. Okay. Awesome. Love it. Um, what failure would you say in your life as an entrepreneur 
have you learned from the most? Or when you look back at now, maybe at the time it was something that you were like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. But now this you one. see this one? This well, one. How is it a failure? Uh, I built it. I ran yeah. out of money. Delays, landlord issues, flooding. Flooding. Partner loss. It, certain investors in certain parts of the business yeah. with some legal you know, legal issues. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a disaster. Really? Yeah. I tried to sell it and then it didn't work. Oh my God. And I had to get back to work. I was like, I was gone. I was out the door. <laughs> I was living in Bushwick in my bartender's apartment. Oh my God. Yeah. So when did like the change you think happen? Well, when, when you, when you what, do you know what happens in life when you yeah. have no choice? Yeah. When, when, when you're put in a position where there's no choice yeah. and the choice is made for you, that's when things change. So you made the most of life. Too many choices make too many problems. Right, right. Interesting. Okay, cool. And now how are you feeling about it now? It seems like it's flourishing and there's now. Still, there's, these, again, there's too many choices always... again. Now there's too many choices, so there's a problem. I need to like right. create, you know, God has to give me, you know, less choices. And he's doing it. He's going he's gonna to do it. Narrowing it down for yeah. you. Yeah. That's good. Um, so why would you consider the collective to be a conscious enterprise? Like what kind of higher purpose do you think you're, you're serving? Why would I consider it? Oh, because I'm in therapy. You're in therapy? Yeah, all the time. Okay. Years, years of therapy. That's good. So uh, as, as long as I'm in therapy yeah. and I'm trying to be more conscious, it would, it would transcend, yes. translate to the business. You're trying to be a good person overall. So what sort you're of, yeah. maybe. <laughs> it depends who you ask. <laughs> right. Some people don't like me. But I'm it's sure, fine. I'm there's sure a lot of people. you're a good person. Yeah, yeah, you're trying. Well, so there's a, you know, everyone has an opinion. Right. Right. For some people, it's wonderful. For some people, it's not so wonderful. Right. So I don't really try to... I don't, I'm not trying to appease anyone uh, when it comes to that. I think that everyone's going to make their own decision. Yeah. And time will tell. Yeah. How did you select, um, like, higher dose Tomb Studio Studios? They, how did you I, I select didn't. these vendors? They, they all came, came to, to you? Me. And how, what, was, what was that screening process like? Um, I don't know. You, you, you feel good about, like, the idea of something. Yeah. And if you think it's going to work or if it makes sense. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, and it's trial and error. It, not all of them are going to work out. Right. It's just part of life. It's not always right. going to work. So, you know, there's there's a there's a criteria we should go through, which is more emotional for me than it is. And I say, have you ever seen a business plan that has it losing money? Right. Right. They, obviously not. Right. Obviously not. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but do they point. all make yeah. money? And they all, are they all successful? In right. in a sense of, the, are they all profitable? Yeah. No. So I don't go off of. The standard of like, let me show me your deck and your pitch. I go off the feeling of, does this make sense? And who, you know, and does it align with what you're trying to do correct. here? Yeah, great. Yeah, I love it. A little bit. There. Not, not, not. They don't teach you that in business school. Yeah, exactly. Do you think that there was any point in this business that you felt like it would have been easier for you to not be so committed to like wellness and all these like kind of? No, I made, I made a decision in 2005 after mm-hmm. I worked at a hedge fund. Oh. Okay. Um, that I don't want to do anything that I don't enjoy. Right. And that will bring more people around the environment of where I'm in that I can relate yeah. to. It's not still like, I mean, we have some crazy people in the wellness business. Right. Like, let's get real, right? right. They're not all, so not everyone's an angel. Yeah. But people are people. Yeah. Right. But overall, the idea is uh, if I thought about where I'm going to spend most of my time, what I'm doing, what I'm eating, who I'm talking to, mm-hmm. the conversation I have in this environment, the people I meet, yeah. are more rewarding than I would, let's say, doing something that I, I don't really right. much, you know. And actually, let's step back for a second. So you used to work for a hedge fund. Tell me a little bit more about your backstory before you got into Not, Juice Press. And nothing. I was, I, was, I, was, I, I went to Tennis Academy. Okay. I was an athlete. I was training. And okay. I was always sort of like behind in terms of like what the standards are yeah and so a friend of mine who uh, was diagnosed with uh, was diagnosed with some illness mm-hmm. was cured by a macrobiotic counselor macrobiotic yeah okay. and so what I was always doing is I was always looking for what else is out there to eat yeah w- w- what could I do to better myself mm-hmm. and so it's a natural progression so right. as an athlete, the idea was, okay, so what do I, I, I watch what athletes did, okay. how they train, what they eat, and I have my own theories of, okay, simply like female digestion, you got to chew something, right. your saliva breaks it down, it goes in your stomach, you have to take a solid into a liquid, it's a, you transport it through the small intestine, into the bloodstream, yeah. it's a large process, so right. if I'm eating things that are more solid right. and hard to digest, right. it doesn't make sense to me, right? It's right. like, you know, you eat a, a lot of steak, I mean, that's a very... Difficult. Difficult to digest, yeah. Yeah, so I had all these ideas of what to eat, how to eat, and it just was uh, based around my own observation and my own thoughts of mm-hmm. what came to from what I saw, 
how I want to approach okay. um, the overall, you know, wellness space. But that's kind of where it started, and and then um, finance-wise was, you know, I was a teenager in the in the dot com era, mm -hmm. you know, and so I did stock up my dorm room in boarding school, yeah, and you know, I was always very interested in like, you know, I'm not one of those people like money comes from a tree right how right. do you make how do you buy something it's very practical right like if i want something how do i get it okay i could steal <laughs> right, right? That's an i can rob yes okay i can work yeah and so you know you you look at all the options and yeah. then you choose like hey what 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 <laughs> option aligns with me right because in some parts of the world like it's okay to steal right 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 it, it just happens you right. know <laughs> it's just how you're brought up sometimes. And, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, that's how they got there. Right. You know, right. the Wild West. I mean, we <laughs> yeah, that's true. killed a bunch of people. Like, it's we wanted true. the oil, we came in. Yeah. How do we take off, take over territory? So, right. I don't look at anything as good or bad. Yeah. I, I look at it as, does it align with who I am? Okay. Right. So, what aligned with me, I went, I, I went after. Okay. Great. Yeah. Right. And how long were you in the finance industry for? I was a licensed broker for like five, six years, and I think I got out of um, I got out of finance in 2007, end of 2007. 2007. Okay, and you went straight into Juice Press after that? No, I uh, what did I do? I didn't work for a year. Okay. I consulted for, okay. for uh, I consulted for a weight loss company. Okay. Uh, that was doing medical weight loss oh, okay. uh, around the country, and uh, helped them like Christian doctors and help them do advisory work for them. And yeah. then I ended up working for a clothing brand oh, okay. and advising them and doing some creative stuff. Yeah. And then uh, my partner, who's uh, still Juice Press, mm -hmm. we were sitting in a, in a pool in Miami and there's a place by the Miami Juice. Okay. And been around for a long, long time. Right. You know, Isaac. Right. I think I've heard of it, yeah. Well, he's been there for like an Israeli guy, him and his wife. He's okay. Like, he's been there for years. Uh, yeah. And, you know, there's nothing like that in New York. And I was like, look, we got to, you know, we'd love to open something. Like that, New right, York, right. you know, like Laser, like Got Miami it. Juice, like, because wherever you go, there's like two places. Got like, it. It wasn't, it wasn't yeah. as, the food wasn't a solid. Yeah. As, uh, as uh, what I've seen. Yeah, what you wanted for yourself, yeah. right? Okay, great. Um, let's talk about money for a little bit. Did you feel like, um, okay, you know, starting these businesses, you were able to attract the right money from the right people? No. Did you no. <laughs> Definitely not. What do you think? I think money, money is uh, one of those special parts. Yeah. Um, uh, you know that, but that, but that's where I think that that's that's where I see in that's where I see this in, in, in cha this that's where I see things like in, in, in changing here. Yeah. That's where I see things change and like who's gonna who's gonna make it right right and who's going to do what they do right right it just it just depends because right. uh, conscious companies mm -hmm. in my opinion should work together. Of course, And yeah. figure out how to make a larger community for Network. a greater good. Mm -hmm. The ones that stay singular, eventually will stop being conscious and they'll be profit driven. Yeah. They'll become a soul cycle. They'll yeah, become, that's because you can't, look at, they, yeah. they, 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 they will fall into the trap. So yeah. that you have privately owned companies right. that never go public. Right. Right? And they never get corporate. Right. Right? And they never go public. Yeah. And they're always private. And they're run differently. And that's you true. feel it. That's true. Okay. You walk into a private health company, even if it's a multinational company. Uh, just uh, here, here. What is this for? What company? Sorry. It's okay. Okay. Signature. Put one of your names there for me, please. And put what time it is for me. I don't know what time it is. What time is it? It is 2 o'clock on the dot. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so, so capital-wise, I can tell you, like, the guy, are we rolling? Yes, yeah. So <laughs> the question was, I wanted to talk about money, how you attract the right money, um, how do you turn down, you know, the wrong investment. I don't know. That's, that's, that, 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 that's super hard because yeah. I, that's, that's where I work on that with my, in therapy, Yeah. is... I want to look at the positive everyone, yeah. but some of the energy doesn't always align. Right. And you want to get like some, so my, my therapist says the person who's conscious is more responsible. The person that's conscious is more responsible. So like if you okay. saw a kid trying to jump across the East River. Right. And you know he's not going to make him, do let him jump. Of it's not, easier right. to say, yeah, but when you're an adult, yeah. let's say you want to invest money with me. Right. But you've never invested before. Yeah. Right? So if I take your money, right. I know I'm going to have a problem. Okay. But the part of me always says that why, what is my part in 
and this is this is this is the brain this is the brain fuck sorry for my like it's really is the brain yeah. fuck is you know when you tell someone no mm-hmm. how the ego like so the last I had a lawsuit here okay. with one investor okay right? and my lawyer told yeah. her do not in he told her straight yeah. out he's my CEO you should not you want to call me, uh, you should not you and him can't work together you will not understand him wow and th- you're, you're, and not in a negative way he said he has more experience than you do he's he's just yeah. a different person yeah and this guy's 10 years older than me right he goes he's a different animal yeah right he and he he wrote in a contract napoleonic like like management <laughs> skills like you know are like, uh, I'm like, uh, I can't, I can't. Yeah. Like, it, it, it's, it's odd. Yeah. And so... So back to the, the money. Law, yeah, yeah, after the money. <laughs> yeah, after the money. Yeah. Whatever, I'll tell you everything. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I Have fun, wanna... edit it, do whatever you need. I'm like... <laughs> I'm like no, this is I good. Re- this I already had fun. one part, like, let's get a phone. No, no phone, why not? <laughs> well, we don't need a phone. Well, have you been here? I said... <laughs> I said, come spend a week in the space. Yeah. For one week and see what happens. Right. Uh, that's why you were there. Okay, so if I tell you we need a phone, <laughs> it's a phone. Why we'll have to get into an How argument hard with you? Could be, yeah, no, no, absolutely. but it's like, let's spend yeah. 10 grand. Okay, let's spend 10 grand. Let's spend oh, 40 God. bucks. Whoa, we don't need it. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm done. <laughs> Communication is. There's no, like there's, it's like, wow, you know? <laughs> but anyways, about money. Yeah. So, how did you, like, well, what's your experience been I, okay, with attracting so, the right money, the wrong money? Like, how does that affect I have never business? figured out how to attract. I still, to this day, yeah. do not know how to attract the right money. So you feel like all the money that you've attracted at this well, point was so not this right. is mostly my money. Oh, okay. Investor money that, I, I, and yeah. Up, well, so the amount of money I was sued for, so yeah. I offered, I don't know if I can, I'm going to maybe ask my lawyer if you can put this on Yeah, yeah, let me no, know. I'll, I no, I'll, I'll, I don't know, I'll ask yeah. him. So my okay. lawsuit, a woman gave me $200,000 of $300,000 to invest after we had built the place to finish the downstairs. Okay. And... The idea was that, uh, you know, she get, gave them tranches. And what I figured okay. out was, and I felt uncomfortable. The moment she came to me, said she mm. wants to be a partner in, in a piece of the business. Because okay. I had the umbrella with different right. sections. Right. Food, retail. So mm. I have one investor in the food. Yeah. And I had, but the entire space was leased by me before anyone. Okay. I felt guilty taking anyone's money. Yeah. Until I actually had some sa- solid foundation. Oh. So I signed a lease with two hundred thousand dollars in the bank. Okay. Okay. In cash to sign mm-hmm. the lease. You know, show it to the landlord and what I'm going to build. Yeah. yeah. And then once again, my plan's done, then I go bid it out. Right. Worst case scenario, I have a good guy clause. Okay. I lose. I, I lose one month security. Okay. And uh, when I give him back the keys, that's my risk. So I okay. took that risk. There's a whatever that risk was, fifty thousand dollar risk. Okay. Right, to sign a lease. It's a risk. It can right. Go down, but that's my. That was my. Right. I did it myself. Yeah. So, when I was looking for money, people always ask me, "How much can I make?" And I ask them, "How much time do you have?" Right. Right. So, if a bank loans me money at two percent for a building, right, and it's a billion dollar building, mm-hmm. right, and has a hundred million dollars in revenue, right. I'm making money. Right. How much can you get a loan for in the bank? Seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve percent. So right. people who have less less resources yeah. end up paying more oh, that suffocate right. and then the banks give money to big corporations mm-hmm. when they go bankrupt they get zero back and the government bails them out right, right? and right. then they're still worth billions of dollars totally. and then guess who gets left holding the bag the taxpayers totally that's the government yeah that's how the government works yeah so you have to have a little bit of fight to in you to like yeah. run a small business yeah so conscious capital is it's such a difficult world because Every, money has to make money. Right. If not, it's charity. Right. Right. So my partner and I used to have a discussion. I'm like, I'd rather have no one work for me. Yeah. I'll work myself. I'll wash the floors. I'll make the food. Yeah. Until we find people who want to do what we do. Right. Right. And, and it's like, and, and have the same desire. Yeah. So it's a very difficult term. I, with, with the girl I had here in the lawsuit, I offered her half of what she put in based okay. upon me bringing other investment or selling space okay. in tranches. She said it wasn't good enough, so she sued me. Oh, wow. At the end, this is what happened. Yeah. Instead of getting a hundred grand, yeah. we went to court. I spent eighty-five thousand in legal fees and accounting. Fine. We settled for seventy-five thousand dollars. Okay. So she settled for seventy-five and a year and whatever. So she went to court. Yeah. She paid the lawyer. Okay. She got seventy-five thousand dollars back. Okay. I offered her options like, what? Follow my direction. Work in the space. Right. How we get it going. Right. Right. Or take a hundred grand. Okay. She turned down both options. So at the end, her law fees will have to be. 30, even with a half of mine, I got right. a good lawyer. She spent 30 or 40 grand in court at least. Right. She got $35,000 okay. at the end. She wasted a year of her time. Yeah. Got 75 back for what she minus put in her time. Fees, yeah. Minus legal fees and her time. Right. Was that a good idea? Horrible. So, yeah. 
I have yet to attract, I have yet to attract the <laughs> right. right money, period. Right. So do you feel like when you, by investing the majority yourself, is that like the ideal situation you think for you? You know, I, I, I haven't experienced otherwise. Yeah. I, I, I think that invest, I haven't found, I'm very honest with what the reality is. Right. We get in the meeting and they're like, how much money can I, like, what's my risk? You can lose everything. Yeah. But that's the truth. <laughs> it is the truth. I mean, I mean yeah. people don't talk, when they go to pitch book, pitch meetings, right? If, yeah. you're fi- if you're the fine line of every single bank, uh-huh. if you're going to put your money in the bank, the FDIC secures it for X amount of dollars. Mm-hmm. If you buy security, the fine print says you can lose everything. Oh, you signed this document. They show you it later. Like, you signed this. Right. But they never tell you that. Yeah. So when I stand at the table, my question is, are you willing to lose everything? Right. And if you're not, you shouldn't be investing. Totally. That's the truth. That's a good way to look okay, at it. And, yeah. and when you tell that to everyone, no one, you know, yeah. it gets really kind of, you know, I believe in my ability to create. Yeah. I really believe in my ability to create something. Yeah. Whether it's hiring the right people, finding the right ideas, yeah. eventually it gets figured out. Mm-hmm. Like, like even this place is figuring itself out, it's evolving, right. it's, 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 it's forming. Right. It's how, it's, it's how, it's, it's how, it's how good are you at failure. Right. If the real question is, is how good are you using That's being a great way to put at it. failing yeah. and getting back up again yes. and keep going and trying it again. Yes. And with everyone saying, you know what you're doing, what you're doing. Right. Like that's the real key. Yeah. Um, and turning the failure into a positive, like you said before. Because failure, failure, yeah. failure, failure is just your education mm-hmm. of what you need to learn from and how yeah. to evolve something. So my main investor having problems with them too, they came in, they backed out from the contract we had. Mm-hmm. So I was under, I was under funded, so I had to get more money and found more yeah. money myself to put in. Right. So I, I took loans against my assets of another $350,000, $400,000. So yeah. I have like 800000 into it. So half the money in here, then with all the revenue I've made to pay back, the yeah. legal, the losses, the accounting, that's yeah. all my investment into the place. Yeah. So right now, the majority of the investment here mm-hmm. is myself. It's over a million something dollars. Right. You want partners. I'm open. I love. I, I want to. I don't want to work alone. Right. I wish to have the right people around. But you have to give and take. Yeah. Right. If you run, so I always say, okay, yeah. why don't you run something and you give me what you think you do with it and what the budget is and how much money you need. Yeah. If it doesn't fail, let me do it. Right. Right. And then and then we both learn from our mistakes. We grow together. Great. I have never found that possible. Really. To this day. I have not found anyone who said it because it's like yeah. it's like it's like normal. Like okay, you want let's say you want to take over the food. Like I want to launch delivery. Yeah. Great, Roxana. You're Roxana, right? I'm yeah. not with my mind. Right? Yes. <laughs> You're Alan, right? I know. Uh, I would say, what is, what do you want to try to do? Yeah. Right. And you would say, well, I think this, this, and this, and like, you know, you're an entrepreneur, so you're you're, you're going to make mistakes. Yeah. But you're gonna, you learn from your mistakes. Yeah. So I say, okay, so you're on this. If it doesn't work, let me try it. What will happen is, I watch you make mistakes, and blame everyone else, but not themselves. Yeah. Right, and so I've learned. Like, of course, there was a point where I was like that in my life. But yeah. I learned that every single I've, person I bring in here, mm-hmm. it's my fault if it doesn't work out. Right. Now it is partly their fault too. Right, right. But I can't look at it like it's his fault. Totally. I have to be responsible for the decision that I made. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's what consciousness is. Right. right. Is 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 being aware of that responsibility. You know. Yeah. That's. I haven't found it. Okay, I'm cool. looking for it. Work in progress. I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking at. It. So for me, awesome. for me the term, for me the term is that. Let's say you gave me money. Right. And I'm an idiot. Yeah. And I lost it all. Right. Whose fault is it? I mean, partially mine, partially yours. That's you right. Know? That's but what, 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 is. what yeah. does someone say usually when you lose money? It's all your fault. Yeah. Totally. Right. Yeah. So the the the, the conscious yeah. group of people yeah. it very quickly become severely. Unconscious, unconscious. <laughs> yeah. right? And that's what I find. Interesting. You know, yeah, when well, I, I, I hear this all the time. I'm yeah. too busy. Yeah. Hmm. You know what too busy means? Too busy for you. I'm overwhelmed and took on too much, more than uh, I can handle. So I'm not aware of my limitation. Yeah. That's what too busy means. Yeah. Right? If I tell someone I'm too busy, no, I'm like, you know what, Roxana? Let's read this interview. I'll tell you, Roxana. Yeah. I have no time for this interview. Yeah. Because I'm I'm working on it, and right now is not the right time. That's real answer. Yeah. Not I'm too busy. One day, one day, one right, day. Right. One day means it's not. Yeah. There's there's a way to go about it. Totally. I so, get that. awesome. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my next question for you is: How do you measure success, and do you consider yourself a successful business person today? Um. 
there's a lot of benchmarks for success. Mm -hmm. One is profit. One right. is how you feel. Mm -hmm. One is how your employees feel. Yeah. I don't think there's. I don't think anyone knows how to measure it. Okay. I myself. How do you measure it? Though? I don't know. I'm a. I'm. I'm very. I'm very hard on myself. You are. I'm, the most. The most critical person of me. What are you critical about? Everything. What I do. What I say. Like. I'm not gonna judge my success. Yeah. That's not to me. Okay. That's me walking in here. It seems like you're successful. I mean, <laughs> that, that's that's. What's 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 money? Yeah. So Energy. No, but for example, yeah. if we talk about money, so if you made a million dollars, right, or if you made a billion dollars, yeah. if you went to a billionaire and he said, I made a million dollars last year, right. what, what, what would his friends say at the table? They're like, that's like nothing to him. Yeah. So it's relative. It's totally relative. Right? So <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't get caught in what successful is. Yeah. I don't get caught in the praises. Yeah. Or, you know, I've always like, if I get a compliment, I'm not going to take compliments. Yeah. Um, I'm better at taking like, you know, when people put me down. Really? I'm much better. Because that's what I grew up in. I'm Russian, so yeah. it's like, it's a norm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't let it get to me. Yeah. I think about it one moment, but at one point I'm like, that's really not my problem. Right. I don't, I'm not too concerned with what people think or say. That's it's good. not, it's up to them. Right. It, can, is it upsetting? Yes. You have a feeling. You get a feeling. You have to yeah. own the feeling. Like, But really at the end, you know, uh, like whatever. That's up to them. Yeah. Um, so what about when you see like all these people walking in here with like furrowed brows and like in a bad mood and that you see them walking out and they're like, oh, I'm refreshed. They just did cryo. I just did a tune session and higher it's dose. It's part of my it's part. I, you know what? I'm so when you're in it. Yeah. Right. It's just what is. Right. You're not judging it. Right. Success. I have to stop. Yeah. And make an evaluation. Right. Right. Like I take myself out of what I'm doing yeah. to see the result when I'm in it it's just a flow they're happy yeah. they're sad it's just what life's about there's, yeah. there's, 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 there's so you don't allow it to like stop you and and make a judgment on oh this person had a great day because of me yeah. or not it's not me really it's not something to do with me yeah this you're, you're this, a mile a minute I can this, 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 yeah. this business has nothing to do with me yeah it really has nothing yeah. it, has, it has to do with the people yeah this is really not, I I oh. I built something <laughs> yeah. that, that would be I, I built Primarily, yeah. my idea was to build a comfortable space. Right. Forgetting if it'd be raw food or macrobiotic food or yeah. herbal, if, if it's Alchemist Kitchen or if it's two hundred or tired dose, before anything, it didn't, right. it didn't matter to me. Yeah. What, like, I didn't think of that. Yeah. Because that was going to define itself. That was going to evolve on its own. You know? Yeah. You know, are you cutting your hair short or long? Like, that, that, you don't, you don't, you don't get caught you up don't, in it. You don't nail that down. Because right. that can change. Right. The, the, the overall idea yeah. was to build a com comfortable environment right. that has things in it that are healthy. Mm -hmm. cool. Okay, I don't like to use the word wellness. We can call it a healing space. We can call it a wellness okay. center. As the years came by, I looked at this business and I looked at like why I'm where I'm here. I just want people to feel good. Yeah. I want them to walk in and yeah. feel a little bit better. When they walk in, I want them to feel better than where they out. were before. Yeah. That's it. Now they might feel great and it's a little more great, right? That that's that's really all that's really all we're trying to do here. Awesome. Um, I don't want to get caught up in like science and who it is and what it is. Like that's 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 just you know, that you know it bogs you down. It doesn't bog you down. Look, you go to a waterfall and there's negative yeah. ions and you go to a beach and there's pulse electromagnetic frequency and you go to the moon and you're in the woods and you know, why wh whatever. <laughs> okay, it doesn't yeah. matter, you yeah. know. And then I look, I, I, at the end, I want people to feel good. They right. walk in, I want, I want them to feel a bit better than when they came. Great. That's my main goal. I think you're achieving it. That's good. Um, what? Except the people I work with. Except for the people. Right, you Karina. Work. You want them to do well. Karina, I said I want to make people feel a bit better <laughs> when they come in. Even they feel great, they feel a little bit better when they come in than when they leave. Except the people I work with, they don't feel so good all the time. <laughs> <laughs> And again, what the problem head, is, yeah. it's my fault. And I'll, t I'll yeah. tell you why it's my fault, because why? I see things before they happen. Yeah. My gift is to see things. Yeah. And because I wasn't allowed to do things, because my parents told me, you can't do this and you can't. Yeah. But they weren't, they didn't have my gift. Yeah. Right? They can't see what's going on. Right. I have that gift. Yeah. And I think I project my childhood mm -hmm. on allowing people to do things that don't fit what I believe in. Right. And then when they hit the wall, they blame you. Interesting. You know, it's like, you know, they hit a wall. Yeah. You know? Best thing is I want to help you. Yeah. So, I, I, so Roxana, how can I help you? Um, Just anything. I, I, I don't care. Like, uh, no, no, be real. Biotherapy session would be nice. Okay. Yeah. So, so, no, so 
be very direct in what yeah. you want. Like, like be, you need help. Like, you need a hundred hours. You need to, you need to grab your kids from school. You need, need to fly to see your grandmother. Like, be specific. And I ask you a question, Roxana, how am I help you? Um, I'd love for you to do this interview with me. You know, Roxana, I think it's a really good idea. Yeah. Like, I can help you. You should interview Karina over there. Okay. Am I helping you? Yeah. Sure. Really? Yeah. No. <laughs> Wait, think about it. Depends it depends who Karina is. No, no, no. So if you want to interview the person who created this business, yeah. and I'm telling you, no, no, interview the person who created oh, that yes. business, right. but you want this business, right? right? Yeah, that's obviously a deflection. So yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you something, and I told you, and then you come back to me, and I said, yeah. but I helped you. I got you that business. Yeah. But I didn't ask you to interview that person. Right. I asked me. Yeah. I should be able to tell you, yes, I can help you, or no, I can't. Right. I'm so sorry. I don't want to do this interview. Right. Right? Right. Which means I don't want to help you right. in this situation. Yeah. Can I borrow five bucks? You know what? Here's some chocolate. Maybe in other ways I can help you. Right. What people tend to do yeah. is they tend to, in their mind, yeah. create something that they think is helping you. Right. <laughs> right. Because they're putting their own projection out there. Cool. Yes. I totally get that. And yeah. then I'm like... It's the human form. It's like, Roxanne, can you pick my kids up from school? Yeah. And you're like, yeah, sure. And then you're yeah. like, well, you know what that's good? Let me send a cab, but I need you... That's not, I yeah. can send a cab myself to yeah. pick up my kids. <laughs> I need you to pick up my right. kids because I need them to feel yeah. safe. Like, I need you to... Right. It's like, it, it, you know, <laughs> what, try that. Like, watch... Totally. Watch, be, be mindful of when you speak to people, family totally. members, friends. Like, hey, uh, can I give you some help? Yeah. And they're willing to help you only in the way that they want to. Right. Not in the way in you the need. In the way that they see that, that it's help. Yeah. I That's totally see that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so a lot on. of editing. Oh, wait, no, this is great. This is awesome. I'll edit it. It'll be smooth. Don't worry. Um, what is a valuable piece of advice that you would like to give to other up and coming entrepreneurs that are creating businesses with conscious intentions? What would be like a piece of advice that you wish someone maybe would have given you? Uh, you know what? That, 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 that's you actually gave me a question I can answer. <laughs> I really, I, I, I'm I, I, no, sure no, no, no I'm answer. being, I'm being serious. I, really? I, I, I would actually Why? have to that question. Yeah. I would actually have you get back to me on. I yeah. really to, okay. to, to for what's there for me to yeah. sit back. I need to reflect on it. Yeah. I, I would be lying to you if I if I gave you an answer. Okay. I would be conscious of the answer. I would okay. be, I would be creating something because yeah. you need it. All right. I wouldn't be truthful. So we'll do a TBD. Yeah, a TBD. We'll come back and yeah. we'll and we'll get another answer for that one. But okay. Yeah. That's good. Um, so that was. That's it. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about that I didn't that I didn't ask you? No. Um, I think the most important thing what I learned in acting school. Yeah. Um, was that whatever you think you're giving mm -hmm. may not be what people are receiving, and be very open. Yeah. To people who you trust who can give you a real a real perspective of who you are from the outside right. that help you guide you in the right direction. No matter who you are, you need you need people to guide you. So I have my totally. theater coach, my therapist, I have a lot of people around me yeah. who I built trust with. Yeah. Not I don't trust them all the time for everything. Like right, I was right. my therapist and I fought with her the other right. day. She has alternative therapy, which you should interview her. Yeah, I'll totally. give you a few people. We love that. And the, the way I tell things are through stories. I I think out loud. I talk yes. And it's me thinking. Yes, I could see that. And then I kind of get to where I'm going. Yes. And then she was, she told me something like of how I, what I should do, and yeah. that was like a, I was like, hey, listen, you're not respecting my process. Uh -huh. You're imposing onto me. So she goes to me, and, and her, I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? And I love this woman to death. My yeah. brain says forgive her. My heart says fuck you. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Because at the moment. I'm hurt, and I right. don't want, I, and and I don't feel that I want to. I don't feel I want to forgive her. My brain right. saying, the problem is, our brain says do this because this is what you should do mm -hmm. based on mathematics yes. or what we have calculated. Logic, but the yeah. heart, which is more important, saying right. I'm not ready for this, right. and to trust what you feel more than the logical thing is if someone's giving you hundred million dollars, take it. <laughs> but I did take money for this business, and it was the wrong money. And I knew yeah. the feeling you was, felt it, I right? felt it was wrong, but, but the logic it. was like, do it. Why would I not take this money? Someone's offering it to you me. You know, right. and it's, that's a hard thing to do. Yes. It's, and, it's, and then when yes. you're aware, it's painful. It's brutal. Yes. Yes. Brutal. Um, Always got to follow that. But someone who's very yeah. successful, yeah. that I think is successful, mm -hmm. that you should interview, is yeah. Corinna. 
I would love to. <laughs> she's not going to think she's successful, but in what she's done and in, 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 in yeah. as, as what her evolution has been and who she is, okay, is is a success. Is is I find this to be a very is, is a great success. Great. Okay, so when an, when an actor goes on stage, right. right? I feel good about what I did. Like yeah. I've done things where I feel great. Yeah. Like in practice, I got yeah. one paid job so far, so we're getting there, right? Okay. I feel great about what I brought that I did on stage. Yeah. Right in class, doesn't doesn't mean I th- I'm gonna judge it that, that that I feel good. Ab- I just feel good about it. Yeah. I feel happy with what I did. Right. Yeah. My job and who I am is not to pick and to say to praise it or to rip it apart. Yeah. That's for you. I when I go on stage and I get critiqued. Right. I I leave that to everyone else's opinion. People make you successful. Yeah. Because if you're happy with what you do, you're just happy with what you do. Yeah. Right? I feel good. I made it very simple. Yeah. This feels good. Yeah. This doesn't feel good. <laughs> this feels good. Yeah. And if I can live more in the this feels good, right. right, I'll just feel better. Right. I don't want to label it. Right. Success, not, you know. Yeah. You know, I, for myself. Yeah. I can look at someone and have, I have my criteria of like, like, if you ask me, are they successful in business? And I would say, I guess so. They made a lot of money. Right. You know, do they have any friends? Not successful in friendship. <laughs> Someone yeah. who's divorced ten times. Are they successful in their marriage? Right. Uh, you know, you know, and so we start That's to, a good way to look we start to yeah. label things and put things mm-hmm. in. Bo- I'm, not, I'm not about that. That's awesome. That's just not like it's that's, not. It's, yeah, but that's great advice. I think it, more it's, people not, should it's not the way I operate. That. It's yeah. just what is and what isn't. Yeah. You know, and I don't want to get. I don't want to murky the. Yeah. Like, 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 right. So. Beautiful. Well, thank you. This is awesome. Yeah, you can have a lot of. <laughs> I have a lot of material to work with here.